So on the surface, today's video might not seem that exciting, but I assure you it is. This is what I figured out. I figured out how to save myself ten dollars to $15,000. It's $180 a month for like eight or 10 years. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And even if it doesn't apply to you today, at some point in your life, if you ever plan to own a home, it's gonna apply to you. So watch the whole video, you're gonna love it. I hope the microphone isn't picking up too much of the wind, but I know saving $15,000 is a tall order. Here's the deal, it has to do with PMI. And if you've never bought a house, that's called private mortgage insurance. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that early and save yourself a ton of money. So the best way that I can explain this is to start with a story. When my wife and I first got married, we built our first house. Uh, my dad was a contractor, he helped us build it. And so when we got done, we didn't have to pay PMI because you have to pay PMI whenever you owe more than 80% of the value of your house. So for example, this is not the price of a house, but it's easy to run the numbers. If the house is worth $100,000 and you borrowed more than 80,000, then you have to pay PMI. And PMI helps the bank mitigate their risk by not having to worry about you losing the house. First house, we didn't have to worry about it. We still own that house, we use it as a rental. When we bought our second house, that's when I found out about PMI because we didn't have 20% down, but it was right after the 2008 real estate market and all the markets kind of went kaput. So we were buying a house because it was a great investment. So we made that our primary and to do that, we got an FHA loan, which means we put three and a half percent down. But with that, we had to pay PMI and it sucked. Well, just recently we sold that house. We bought another house because we were selling and buying at the same time. We didn't have the down payment and we wanted to take our equity as cash. So we didn't want to put it to pay off 20% of our new house. So we did another FHA, that's three and a half percent down, and we had to pay PMI. Now here's where it gets fun. So the other day, I'm sitting around, we've been in this house not even three years, and as you know, real estate prices are going up, 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 inflation's going up, up, up. So I called my buddy, who's, you know, the, the banker guy that I get my loans from, and I said, I'm pretty sure we, we don't owe more than 80% of the value now because the value keeps climbing. How, how do I get rid of my PMI without making the next 10 years of payments, which for me is $180 a month? And he said, well, we could do an appraisal. That'll cost you 500 bucks. And if it comes back, then uh, if you're below the 80% threshold, then you can get rid of PMI. So I said, well, let's give it a shot. Fast forward about a week later, the appraiser shows up to my house. He needs to look around inside. And he says, you know what? I've already pulled comps all over your neighborhood. And I'm just taking these pictures because I have to, but I could tell you right now, I looked at the number that the bank said that you needed and you're $50,000 past that number. Your equity is way high, so your PMI is gonna go away. Now, let me show you the numbers of what this looks like. I'm gonna actually go in here and pull out my amortization schedule so you can see it. All right, I got it right here, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't let you see any numbers and addresses and stuff you shouldn't see. All right, so I've covered up some of the uh information that I shouldn't share. Of course, my wife will say I probably shouldn't share a lot of this, so. Hey guys, if you like learning about entrepreneurship and finance, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. There is our value of what we paid for the house. And we got a 4.7% interest rate, which I know they're, they're lower now. Over 30 years, amortized, amortized over 30 years and here's the payment all this kind of stuff but here's what we're looking at pmi 160 dollars and 96 cents boom 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 boom. all these payments 160 dollars and 60 cents boom 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 until that's where i thought it would drop off by my own calculations before we got it but here's where it actually drops off payment 114 it would have dropped off that's insane. 160.96 times 114 equals $18,349.44. Can you imagine paying $18,000 and all I had to do was schedule someone to come out to appraise my house, which the banker sent. It was their guy. It cost me $500 and I wiped out $18,000. 
Spend 500, wipe out 18,000. So if you buy a house and you have to pay PMI, make sure you're paying attention to market value. And as soon as your house gets above the 80%, 20% threshold that causes PMI, get someone out to appraise your house and get rid of it. If this video was helpful, please leave a comment, like, share it with some other people, and I'll see you on the next video.